I'll remind you that we are still at phase five. And as of today, based on this morning's numbers, we have 787 confirmed cases coming from 17 countries. It's, that is not very easy to predict because um, transmission of influenza virus or of any virus for that matter does not necessarily always move at the same speed. Um, there could be a hiatus in its spread, especially we have not seen any confirmed instances of sustained human, to trans human transmission in communities outside of the Americas. Um, we don't know when that will happen. Certainly we remain on alert, on alert in case that happens, but it's, it's, uh, it would not be prudent to try to make a prediction in that regard. We would, we would almost inevitably have to say we were wrong next week. Now, first of all, uh, for us, going to phase six, if and when we do, implies that we would uh, help our member states, especially those member states who are not as well off as uh, others, to increase a range of activities in terms of uh, clinical uh, infection control and clinical treatment of cases, in terms of surveillance to try to pick up uh, unusual uh, disease events, in terms of uh, diagnostics to be able to, uh, to be able to better and more quickly diagnose case diagnose cases as they come. Uh, we would also uh, be shipping materials and medicines such as oseltamivir. Uh, so there's a range of very specific things that we would do both ourselves and in support of national ministries of health. 